almost all multiples of 13 are cancelled out. If something will be there, it will be cut down in the next process. So let's see the 17. So every multiple of 17, like 34, which is which is already done. Similarly, the multiples of 19 we need to cut down. We need to cut down the 31 multiples of 31. Cut down the multiples of 41. Cut the multiples of 43. So 43 for it will be 86 only and 86 is already cut. For 47. For 47 what will be there? It is uh, 94 which is already done. Okay then we have 59. The multiples of 59 will be cut. 61. 71, 67, 79, 89, 73, 83, so and 97 also. Now you have cut every number which is a multiple of some number and the other number which are not multiple of any number are remaining in the red circles. In the red circles, you have those numbers which are not multiple of any number. So let's write down those numbers. The numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, one is left, this is 23. 23, 79, 83, 89, 97. So, these are the numbers between 1 to 100 which are not divisible by any number. So, we can say these all are prime numbers between 1 to 100. These all are prime numbers between 1 to 100. It means these are the numbers which cannot be divisible by any number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So there are 23 prime numbers between 1 to 100. And as we know, we do not consider the 1. Okay, so please never consider the 1. Now we can see which is the smallest prime number. 2 is the smallest prime number. 2 is the smallest prime number. Now can you say that which is the even prime number? Which is the even prime number? We can see that 2 is the only even number here in this table. So always remember 2 is the only even prime number. In case of even numbers, 2 is the only even number which is a prime number. So 2 is the smallest prime, 2 is the only even prime. 